My name's Graham Ross and I'm Director of Music here at Clare College in Cambridge where one of my main activities is directing the Chapel Choir who sing three times a week during the full academic term and in addition have a lot of external commitments outside of the term. My favourite thing about singing at Clare is just singing in college every week. We sing three even songs each week, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays, um, and Compline um, several times a term. And I just really like singing services and it's something to look forward to um, during the week, not just lectures and going to the library. Um, and we also collaborate with the College Music Society and get to um, sing in concerts and it's really nice just to be part of the college community in that way. We mostly sing the service of choral evensong during the full term and also sometimes a choral Eucharist and during those services we sing a huge variety of repertoire uh, stretching from the Renaissance era right up to the present day and with everything in between. Clare College has its own composer in residence and we have as great a commitment to contemporary music as we do to all of the music of the great English choral tradition. Singing in Clare Choir is a really good way to enrich your whole music experience. Um, for example, I'd never done this kind of singing before coming to Cambridge and it's a really great way to learn new things about music, especially when you're working in such a small time scale and yet you have to produce um, a really high quality musical product every week. One of the things I like the most is that you can make very, very good music but the environment's very undaunting. Um, and especially for me, the tours have been a top part of the year of being a member of the choir. Um, so, for example, we sang recently in the Sydney Opera House, which was a great opportunity and enjoyed thoroughly by all of us. St Augustine wonderfully said that he who sings prays twice. So I suppose what the choir does is pray twice for all of us who happen to be in chapel on the occasions when they're singing. I think one of the best things about Clare Choir is how diverse it is. Um, especially if you think about subject choices. I mean, I personally study history of art, which is uh, kind of a small art subject, but we've got people who study natural sciences and modern languages and, and music as well. And it means that there's uh, a lot of different views, a lot of different ways of seeing the world, I guess. Um, but all kind of, you can all come together once in a while and, and join and, and sing, which is, which is of course the thing that really unites us. Outside of the academic term, we have a very busy external schedule that involves concerts, tours, broadcasts, recordings and the like. We tour internationally at least once every year and in recent seasons we've toured to Australia, to the United States and all across Europe. Clare College has for almost 40 years enjoyed a vibrant music scene set up mainly by my predecessors Timothy Brown and John Rutter. 
and the number of singers and instrumentalists and academics and composers and conductors who have passed through these walls during their three years of undergraduate study and gone on into the music profession is a long and distinguished one. We audition and interview for music students and for choral scholars every academic year and those students become the future generations of music makers at Clare College. Of course, singing in the chapel is the primary role of the choir. It's what they are, as it were, given their scholarships invited to do. And it's where they learn the discipline of singing together as a group. Three times a term, we have the special joy of Choral Compline, one of the ancient monastic services that the choir sing here at 10 o'clock on a Wednesday evening. It's entirely by candlelight. It is without any real congregational participation at all. I think that's why it appeals to so many undergraduates. They can come along at the end of a long day, just sit, reflect, enjoy the beautiful music, and as we say at the end of the service, have a quiet night and a perfect end.